Hey everyone, Jessica Kobesi here and welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing a cute little warm photo effect for you guys. This is the before and this is the after. So you probably think, oh god, this is going to be super complicated. It's really not. We're using some basic adjustment layers and let's get right into it. Let's get up in there and, you know, put some layers on this thing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually just desaturate this image because I find when I desaturate the image, the colors just work a lot better. Um, so we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and hue saturation. Yeah, this layer doesn't really get a lot of love, but I'm trying to incorporate hue saturation more, you know, into my photo effects if possible. So I'm just going to toggle that saturation tab and bring it down to 20, negative 21. You know, we're in the negatives today. The next thing that I'm going to do is go to layer, new fill layer, and then gradient. And I love gradients so much. So what we're going to do is use the orange to orange again, but slightly lighter, and then to red. So it kind of looks like the sun a little like the sun and self-destruction at towards the end so there we, we can you know what? I'm gonna name this one self-destruction okay okay let's you know just give it some a personality give it some identity so I'm gonna go ahead and press ok and then what I'm gonna do is make sure that this layer fill is where I want it so I'm gonna be Dragging this along this way. I want the red to be on the on the side, on the lower right hand corner. And again, if you click and hold, you can kind of drag that out however you want. I'm going to keep it kind of in the middle and then I'm going to press it. Okay. So we're going to go from normal to soft light. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Uh, we're going to lower the opacity to 20 percent and I didn't there we go okay so I was making sure that was still on there so now we're gonna go to layer new fill layer again and then we're gonna go to gradients one more time and I'm going to select the orange to transparent uh, layer fill so again using the so we're going to be choosing an orange to transparent gradient fill and just press OK. And then I actually want this on the on the left hand bottom corner. So I'm going to have it like popping out like that. Like, hey guys, it's me. So we're going to go from linear to radial and just stuff that. It's like, yeah, just stuff it in there. Just right here. There we go. So you can even have it a little make it a tiny bit bigger if you want as well. Just scale it. Now I'm going to press OK and go from normal to overlay and as you can see it's bringing out a lot of that color. And we're going to drop this down to 17 percent much like a lot of our grades in college. Just going to drop it down to 100 to 17 percent. You know, <laughs> beginning semester to the end of semester. <laughs> Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then hue saturation. And I'm going to higher the saturation just a tiny bit, so plus 7. We're staying on the master tab, and now I'm going to go down to the yellow. Now what this does is you can actually control the colors that are yellow in the photo. And this is pretty cool, so if I drag this little hue tab you can see it changes it into a lot of cool stuff so I guess you could really put it to whatever color um, you'd like like you can do this I want to live here wherever this is it's kind of cool um I'm going to keep it a little simple just for the sake of this tutorial I'm doing negative 14 I'm becoming super boring but it's it's a very slight difference as you can see but it does make a difference the next thing that I'm going to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. So we're going to solidify this, you know, make it official. And I'm going to higher this up a little. 
curves really does make a huge difference. Look at that. Look what I did to the photo. And I, what did what did I do even? I just put two dots on here. You guys can do this. So really knowing about curves makes it could make a huge difference in your photography. Go from RGB to blue. And we're just slightly dropping this down, just a tiny bit. You see what I did there? I'll show you guys. Watch that. It just added, look at, if I drop this all the way down, you're getting a lot of yellow in here. We don't want it that yellow. Reminds me of, like, bad teeth, so. Yeah, so just, let's, let's just keep it simple for now. The next thing that I want to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then black and white. I'm keeping all the default settings, and I'm going from the normal to soft light. And I'm just lowering the opacity to about 90%. You see that difference right there? I feel like the black and white layer contrasts the photo in a different way. So I tend to use that layer when I want to, you know, make the photo a, a little bit more bold. The next thing that I'm going to do is layer, new adjustment layer, selective color. And this is actually our last layer. We're going to go to yellows. And I'm going to be, you know, adding the colors in here that I've already predetermined to be able to show you guys how to get this effect. But, you know, I experimented to get these. So really what I do, honestly, as I sit and tall, go through each one. So I just recommend you guys to do that. The last tab that we're going to is the blacks. And again, I'm just adding in these numbers that were, you know, that came to me from toggling. Lots of toggling was done to get all these. So what I did, I just brought in some of those darker features in the photo, which I wanted. I didn't want them to be, you know, look at, it's like faded out, it's washed out. So I just wanted it to be a little bit more bold. So if you go to the black section, selective color, this is really good for that because look, if I bring this down, I can get those features back in there. But I didn't, okay, well, calm down, calm down. Okay. It's getting out of hand. Okay, I think this is pretty good. And look at that, we, we did it, you guys. Well, I mean, I did most of it, but you guys were here for, you know, to experience it. So this is after and that is before. And as I said, uh, you know, in the middle of this, the hue saturation layer that we were, uh, I was showing you guys the yellows. If you wanted to, you could switch it up and do, you know, a nice pink if you're feeling pinky, I guess. You can, like, lower this. Um, just get creative, I guess. Use a mask to mask the colors out. But that's all personal preference. So hopefully you guys like this effect and you guys can use some of these techniques on your own photos. Thank you guys so much for watching.